Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Dana, with Creatively Created Crochet. If you're watching, I'm no longer live, but please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love ya. All right, hello everybody. Welcome in. Getting everything over here. I just wanted to say hello to everybody. Welcome to Make and Meet. Make and Meet um, is usually a day, Thursdays, where I get together with everyone and we kind of talk a little bit about what we're making, how our week has been going so far, and we can just chat a little bit and play some games and all that good stuff. Thanks for everybody's coming in. Hit those thumbs up as you come in. I appreciate you. So I guess I'm Dana with Creatively Created Crochet. Um, many of you know me already. Um, for those who do not know me, I've been crocheting for 22 years. Um, but I've turned my crochet into a business about six years ago. And so when I did that, um, hey, Gail, welcome in. And so when I did the business thing, because um, I really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. But then when it started kind of going pretty well, I was like, hey, let me keep this going. So I've been doing the business thing. And then recently I started YouTube, which was last September. And so I've been trying to kind of keep things going. What can I do for YouTube? Tutorials. I like to do tutorials. Um giveaways, just different things. So thank you for all joining. Hello, Manda. Welcome in. Hey, Sharon. Welcome in. I appreciate you guys. Sorry, I have a bowl of cereal next to me, guys, because I might have to nibble a little bit. I'm sorry I'm late. Please forgive me, guys. I didn't realize what time it was. I started putting on makeup and I was like, hmm, let me just try this. Let me try that. Me and this makeup, guys. You know, every week I've been trying to <laughs> do something different with my makeup, hair, all this stuff. So I've just been trying to have a little fun. But how are you guys doing? What are you guys doing today? Um, it's In my city, it's pouring down, raining. Wow, it's crazy. It's super dark. I mean, it's it was thunderstorm. I was wake, I woke up to thunder in the middle of the night. I was like, oh. Like, it was like, boom, boom. I was like, oh, yeah. Not ready for that. But how is it in your cities, guys? Is it raining? Is it, how's the weather? And also, how are you guys doing? How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm really excited. It just seems like I haven't been live. I think I went live Monday, and that was it. Just a little quick earlier live. So I haven't felt like I haven't talked to you guys in a while, even though we have been in different chats and stuff and different um, lives with other people. So we've all been still able to communicate. But this feels a little different because I haven't been on my own live. But I had to kind of realize, guys, I was going kind of crazy with the lives. But, of course, as you know, I'm working hard because I want to get my hours in. You said, I'm about, hey, little mind, I'm about to grab a bowl. So, yes, grab your some cereal, Sharon. Let's, let's snack together. So I'm not feeling the best, and the sun is in and out. Really? I'm sorry to hear that, Manda. Are you resting? What are you doing? Kind of, you know, keep yourself feeling a little better. Do you need to hydrate or, um, you know, do you need to take any medicines? What's kind of hurting? Is it your head? I know you have those migraines sometimes. Um, yeah, just relax. I appreciate you for being here, but make sure you get you some rest and um, take any type of um, precautions that you need to do because I don't want you to just be here not feeling your best. I definitely appreciate you being here and hitting that thumbs up, definitely. But I want you to be your best self. So please, whatever you can do, please um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Because I know when that when your body kind of warns you and lets you know, hey, I'm not feeling good. You know, it's kind of like we have to take our time. Okay, you said it's, Gail says it's sunny in Philadelphia. All right. Yeah, here in Indiana, Bloomyville. You said, hey, Sandy, how are you? Hello, hello. Yes, and I'm going to be visiting Sandy, for those who do not know. Sandy, two hours, right? I'm going to leave a little bit beforehand. I think it's two hours, right, Sandy? Please let me know. I'm leaving over here, guys. Heading over to Sandy's, and then we're coming back. We're going on a field trip to Sandy's for anyone who wants to hang over. Come hang out with me. We're going to go hang over to Sandy, see what she's got going on, because she always comes over here. So we're going to go hang out with Sandy, and then we'll come back. I got some games, guys, so we're going to have some fun. Oh, no, I don't even have a microphone in today. I don't usually put my microphone in when I do my lives, but I usually do them when I do my videos. And I didn't, I was like, I didn't even realize that. That's how long it's really been. I don't really, I haven't been doing videos. I, didn't, I just stuck it in there, stuck it in my phone, and didn't realize it wasn't all the way in until it was over. And I'm like, oh, that was hard. And I couldn't, ref I couldn't do it over again. I'm sorry, y'all. Hi, Tina. Hello. Oh, you about to do your nails, Tina? Okay. So are you doing like, um, you're just painting them? Are you adding like um, tips to them? Do you do acrylics? All that? I want to do some acrylics. I want to, I've been growing my nails. As y'all see, they're kind of dirty. Don't look, don't judge me. 
but I kind of want to put something over them to protect them, like a little um, acrylic or something. What? And the meds they give me. Oh, my goodness. So you always had this, Monda? I, I had no idea. Is this new or you always had this or what? How does that work? Really? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Two hours. Okay, two, uh, two hours. So I'm going to be leaving a little bit beforehand so I can make sure I'm there on time and make sure we all can hang out for a little bit and then we'll come back over here. Oh, oh, goodness. Mr. Dana is going to be raid back over here. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, you just painting them. Yeah, I just want to hang out with you, Sandy, because you always come and show me love. Like, it's just only right, you know? It's just only right. Yeah, I need to do some of mine. I started buying a whole bunch. Okay, after you take your paint off, you said, oh, okay. Hello, Maxine, how are you? Welcome in. You've been looking out for me. Thank you, I appreciate that. I was supposed to be going live throughout the week. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just throw some videos out because I've been kind of resting a little bit, guys. Because like I was saying before, lives like all the time, which is good to do lives. Am I lagging? Why am I lagging? That's annoying. Hold on, let me mute this and make sure my son is not on too much Wi-Fi. I don't know. It might be my internet. I mean, it might be the wet, the rain. Look, like I'm lagging or something. Guys, I'm sorry. This rain makes my internet do some crazy stuff, guys. Okay, yes. And you said, how many hours do you need? I need... I don't even know how many I need. I know I need at least... At least 1,700 hours, at least. But it could be more. I mean, it could be less. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Yep. Manda, you definitely have to take care of yourself. I was telling my husband that. My husband has been taking care of home and my mother-in-law's house. So please, like I said, please take care of yourself because um I know you got a husband as well and a family. But we when we get into that, we're the caregivers, we like go overboard. Um, and then we just kind of like, we kind of like take the back end on ourselves a little bit, but we got to take that time out. That's why I was doing, I said, I was doing all these lives and like my voice started getting groggy. I'm singing on the church choir and I can't even sing. I'm like, I'm talking consistently for three to five hours every time I go live and I need to rest these, I need to rest my vocal cords, you know? So yeah, take care of yourself. My husband, he's been getting swollen. He's been like, I mean, super sore legs, everything, just running around, bouncing around, taking care of everybody. And so it kind of, he's been draining himself. And I'm like, babe, you got to listen to your body. Your body's telling you to sit still for a minute. And I mean, you can still get things done, but just just rest for one minute. I think everybody will understand that you need to rest because you're doing everything. Hello, Sheila. Welcome in. Thank you. I'm back. Okay, I'm better. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, Maritza. Oh, my. Uh, Maritza, am I missing Maritza? Oh, hello, Maritza. I didn't even see you. Hello, welcome in. Thank you so much. Yes, I need about seventeen hundred, I believe, hours. I gotta check again because last time was like twenty four hundred. So, or like, so I didn't. What did I need? Twenty four about twenty four hundred. I need sixteen hundred hours. Yeah, so sixteen hundred hours. Sorry, my math is horrible. Yeah, you gotta rest a little bit. How long will I be here? I'll be here for two hours. Then I'm going to be leaving. Sandy, how long is your show? One hour or two hours? I'm not sure. I'm going to be hanging with Sandy. And then after Sandy's done, coming back to play some games and talk some stuff. But I have some new people in. I appreciate you guys. Yes, I'm getting there. When I first started doing these lives, guys, all I had was 1,600 hours. No, 1,400 hours, y'all. I had 14. Hey, Latoya, how are you? Welcome in. I had 1,400 hours when I started doing this, guys. And I was like, I felt so bad because I was telling everybody, oh, I have ha I'm halfway there. Nah, I was not nowhere near it. <laughs> so, 
So, are y'all working on anything? I know people are doing some nails, which I need to do mine. What are you all, are you all working on something? I'm gonna show you the pattern test I'm doing, okay? Now, when I started this pattern test, y'all know how I do myself. I don't know who do I crochet for. I don't understand. Every time I crochet for myself, it feels like I'm crocheting for Big Mama's house. I don't know, Big Mama. You're making a second doll. Yes, that first doll was super amazing. I showed my husband, he was like, what? I was like, yes, Latoya did a great job. You did a great job on the doll. I don't know if anybody has saw um, Latoya's doll. It's really, really nice, y'all. She did it for her mother for mom for her Mother's Day. So how did your mom like her doll? I didn't even get to ask you. How did your mom like that doll? So let me go ahead and show you what, I, what I'm doing. This is a little too big. I kind of started crocheting looser. I followed the pattern to the T, but I started crocheting a little loose because I'm using Mandela yarn and... I was hoping that it was going to come out a little better <laughs> if I crocheted looser, but whatever. I'm going to get away with it. I'm going to take pictures. Oh, yes. Latoya, what's your Instagram name? I think it's like with my hands, and I think there's some numbers, but I can't remember. I'm already subscribed or following. It's like with my hands something. She put in here last time, too. So, yeah, put anybody who has Instagram, Facebooks, anything, I always tell you guys to put it down here below because we all support. If you're all YouTubers, whatever you want to do. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Okay, sorry, guys. But this is what I'm working on. This pattern test. Look at it, guys. I'm, I love it. This, the day I saw her make this, it's Amber from Heartfully Stitched. Hey, Nana Sands. Hello. Welcome in. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up. Oh, she loves the doll. That's so great, Latoya. I knew she would, because that doll was beautiful. And I know it took some time to go ahead and make all that and um, put it together. I don't know who makes dolls. Amigurumi. I salute you guys. Salute. Because when it comes to making amigurumis and dolls and all that stuff, that really takes some time. Because not only are you making each piece, um, you're probably doing something with the face, because you need some eyes and noses and mouths. And then you have to go and put it all together. So that's kudos. I still have a zebra that I haven't finished. I haven't added the ear. I haven't added hair or tail. Yeah. <laughs> so I still have to work on that. Hello. How are you? Thank you, Shanna, for coming in, Shanna. I appreciate you. I hope it's not. Is it Shanna or Shanna? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I am doing. Oh, you're doing a grab. Yes. If anybody's not familiar, please follow Creative Stitch and Diva. She's on Facebook as well as Instagram, guys. She's making some masks that are amazing, y'all. I mean, they have these graphs, and she's doing all these different beautiful designs in them. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, So, yeah. Let me see. So, this is what I'm working on, guys. This is the top. Um, And it's coming out pretty good. I kind of have to line it up. Like I said before, I made it a little too big. But when I pose for the pictures, don't mind it's lopsided, because I'm like, I'm holding it weird, and I don't have the row even. Um, so yeah, I think I really need to have this downward a little bit more guys. Cause I usually kind of, you guys can see what I'm doing. My husband and my son set this up for me today, so I don't have it like I like it, but yeah. So I'm using Mandela baby yarn guys. Have you ever used that? It's a lion brand Mandela, but it's a baby yarn. They had it on sale one day at Walmart years ago, probably about a year, <laughs> about a year ago. And I never used it. Like I said, it's a little big on me, but when I post for the picture, I'm going to just have to kind of tuck it. I'm going to have to figure out something, guys, because I, I crocheted a little too loose. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but I just was like, when I first did it, I had it. My tension was so tight. I was like, oh, yeah, this is not going to fit. This is not going to fit my six-year-old. So I started loosening up my tension, and then now it's like, ooh. Hey, Vivian, hello. Welcome in. How are you? What you working on? Hey, Miss Tina. Hello. So I just watched your other video, and I know you love those books. Hey, yes, I do, Miss Tina. I love those books. So I see mine. I gave you a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Miss Tina. How are you doing today? Yes, um, I haven't you haven't missed much at all. I just came in basically just talking to everybody, seeing what everybody's doing. You still working on your sign over there? Are you doing some dinner? I know you got to do breakfast and dinner and everything. Are you all done? And then for many of us, we're working on our Sailor's Moon sweaters. I didn't get back. I didn't pick it back up, guys. Because <laughs> I have an order, and I didn't get to finish it up. I was like, you know what? I like to work with it with you guys. 
And I think I'm going to slide this down a tad bit or move it out. Let me see. Because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Trying to even it up a little bit. Let's see. Can you see what I'm doing? If I was a crochet, I think you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Let me see. I can even it up. Okay. Yeah, so everybody saying, hey, Vivian. Hey, Miss Tina. Everybody show some love. So, yes, yes, yes. Hope you guys can see me now. I'm trying to get some good lighting. Oh, let me see if I can bring this down a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Let me see. You know I'm addicted to light. After I, after I dealt with um, after I dealt with that darkness, I was like, I'm never gonna be dark again. He said, I'm taking a break. I'll finish cousin Angie's sweater shawl, and I still have four suits. Oh my goodness, Vivian, you're on a roll over there. How's Joe doing, Vivian? My Joe's doing good. Dealing with some swelling and stuff right now. He's got to take some water pills and stuff and get it down because he's like super swollen. So got to keep him lifted up. But I do have a praise report. Many of you know Chelsea. She usually comes in every week and hangs out. She's one of my night owl family. Um, she is at Be Beautiful Works on Instagram. Um, and she has another page as well. I just really know Be Beautiful Works. B-E-U-Y-O-U. Tiffle Works. But yes, she had to have surgery. Um, I believe it was last Monday, I want to say. Or was it this Monday? It was last Monday or this Monday. One of the two Mondays, guys. And she was kind of worried about it. Kind of, you know, like, you know, when you're having a surgery, guys, you know it can kind of be a little stressful. So I just sending out prayers and prayer requests. And I was praying, me and my husband both. And I was messaging her because I know she was kind of out of it. She had surgery, right? So I didn't want to like just bug her. But I'm like, you know, just praying for him. Still here, you know, letting you know, hey. And she messaged me back early this morning and said she's doing great. She's eating and she is feeling great. So I thank God for that. She is doing so awesome, guys. Seriously. I let her tell her story when she comes back in. I won't do all the details, but I am so happy that she is doing great, y'all. Because she wants to do so many more things in her business. And so I said, you know what? You're doing good things like that. And you want to do these good things. You're going to do them. Just keep speaking life, you know? Let me finish what everybody's talking about. I'm sorry. Okay, now let's see. Okay, Miss Tina said, I'm trying to keep up, Dana. I'm working on signs. Hopefully, I'll finish them today and I have them ready to show. Oh, yes, I can't wait to see them. That is going to be amazing. Lisa says, did you finish? No, as you can see. No, I didn't finish it. I have to do, I'm going to do mine until it's about 31 rows. 31 inches, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to do a trim and sleeves, but I'm not there. What about you, Lisa? Are you there? Oh yes, and you're gonna say your your sign is gonna say God bless a child that's willing to have it, to get his own. Yeah, I like that. And Gail says I'm working on a baby's blanket and working on the shawl. Wow, so you're gonna be doing a lot of good stuff. And then it's amazing because Proverbs uh, sent me this awesome pattern. Her name is Jeannie. She sent me this pattern, guys, for this beautiful shawl, and it's made with shawl and ball. This is like this the same, not this color, but I mean it could be any color. This is shawl and ball, right? This Lion Brand shawl and ball that I'm wearing. And the pattern that Jeannie sent me, guys, is made with Shaw on the ball. I feel like this is still too dark. I'm not going to wait. Hold on. Let me move this. I like to be bright, guys, because my eyes are getting bad. There we go. Is this a little better? I'm sorry, guys. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. So I feel like I need to be seen better, and I can see my comments and stuff, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me see what everybody's saying. I'm sorry. Let me get back. So what I'm doing, okay, yeah, she sent me that pattern. I was like, oh, I can't wait to work on it. Okay, so he's doing good. He keeps getting sick when he goes to physical therapy. So he's going to take a break. Yeah, because he's probably getting out and around different people and stuff. Like, he has to be very careful, I know. But look at you, you have that, that wisdom, that gift of discernment. You're like, oh, no, honey, every time we go here, you're not feeling your best. Guess what we're going to do? Not go. I know, you. I mean, and you know all them. You know exactly what they're doing. You know, the movements and different things and whatever they're doing, you can basically do it if you really, you know, if you can, if you have the energy or whatever. You know, so I agree with you. If you know your husband's getting sick from doing something, 
You're right. Gail says, I just picked up the rest of the yarn for the jacket for my granddaughter so I can finish putting the loops on it so that should be done. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so good. Oh yes, I can't wait to see it, Gail. Yes, thank God. Hello, Jeannie. Hello. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for that thumbs up. I truly appreciate you. And you said, I did absolutely nothing yesterday. Oh, yes. Yes, you celebrated your anniversary. Yes, we had some birthdays and anniversaries yesterday, right? Oh, my goodness. I forgot to tell you that. Yes, Gail. Yes. So, you guys, what did you guys do? What did you guys do? Please tell us, Gail. Yes, what did you guys do? Did you, do, did you say you were doing a seafood? Is that what you were saying? Congratulations again, y'all. Okay, so now um, Lisa says, I'm on the ribbing, still have to do the sleeves. Not sure if I will add the collar or not. Okay, yeah, exactly. So I'm feeling the same way. I'm probably going to add a collar just because I'm going to wear mine once the winter comes in or fall. Like, I'll just, I'll just add my collar because I don't, I think the collar is my favorite part. I think I'll probably add the collar to different, different tops because I like the way it folds and it looks good. But like I said, like, if you're not going to wear it right now or if you don't like a lot of stuff around your neck. It's totally, <laughs> that's probably a no, a no go. All right. Hello, Linda. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I know this stuff is crazy, right? You said, thought I would stop by to chat. It's awesome. I'm going to be starting a baby's blanket. Oh, wow. That's great, Linda. How have you been doing? I know with all this stuff going on, it's like, oh, so crazy. Everyone, Linda is a awesome crochet from my city we're in the same city guys we actually had to have a good time i don't know if you guys remember there's one day i did it from the friday and i told you guys i was able to go to the bowling alley and hang out with a friend and crochet at the bowling alley that's linda thank y'all for hitting that thumbs up i seen the thumbs up going up guys thank y'all yes i miss you too i miss you too Yes, everybody's throwing some love and getting acquainted with everybody. I appreciate that. Thank y'all because y'all letting me eat my cereal at the same time. I definitely appreciate that, guys. But yeah, definitely be looking out for this pattern. Um, It's by Heartfully Stitched. Again, like I said, Heartfully Stitched is making this pattern. And it can be a crop top. It can be a full top. It can be, you know, whatever you choose to make it with. Hope you guys got to see my videos. I know the last video I did had a little buzzing noise and I was super irritated. Yes, everybody showing some love to Linda. Super sweet woman. Super sweet. She saw me on Instagram and we talked and we're like, oh, we're from the same spot. She's like, oh, I think our husbands know each other. I'm like, yep, our husbands do know each other. So we started hanging out and chatting online. So that's good because I don't really talk to a lot of people in, in person when it comes to crafting. I don't really get to do a lot of that. So I wanted to play a couple games, guys. Okay, yes, you did a seafood dinner. My daughter dropped off a cake. What? The other one had fruit delivered. Have one. So, yes, isn't that awesome when your kids are like, oh, I'm going to celebrate mom and dad, too. That's what I'm talking about. You don't just get to celebrate with your husband or, your, you know, your spouse. You get to actually have your kids. They're like, oh, I want to celebrate my mom and dad, too. I, pre I love that. They're an awesome example, you know? I love that, guys. Let me figure out what I want to do. What's everybody saying? Thank y'all for hitting the thumbs up. Thank y'all. Yes, I'm so glad it was a lovely day for you, Gail. I'm so happy. I'm super excited that it was a great day. Yeah, so, um... Oh, I got a couple things I want to tell you guys. I didn't get to tell you guys everything yet. Thank y'all for hitting the thumbs up, guys. Okay, hold on one second. Here it come, guys. We're going to get some fun things going on.
And I'm going to be doing a seafood thing too. I forgot to tell you guys. I think I did tell you guys, but I got some crawfish in the freezer, but I'm going to add some shrimp, some lobster, all that good stuff to it. Oh, I got to show you some a couple things. I got a new tripod. I'm using it right now. Oh, this top right here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is that um, mesh poncho I'm always making. <coughs> My bag of day crochet, guys. And um, it's a mesh poncho. I did it with a, um, what did I use this? The, um, I'm sorry. I'm doing a couple things at the same time. I'm so sorry, guys. <coughs> But yeah, this is um by Lion Brand Shaw on a Ball. <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> okay, let's see. Hello, CJ. Hello, welcome in. Thank y'all for hitting that thumbs up as y'all come in. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, have anybody noticed that their um, Hobby Lobbies are open? I heard one of my friends, I'm not sure where she lives, though. But her Hobby Lobby is open, guys. She was, like, super excited. She's like, I can't wait to go in. So I think she did go on a Hobby Lobby haul today. So I don't know um, how it went. But I'm curious, is anybody's Hobby Lobby open who, who has those? Because I know everybody doesn't have Hobby Lobbies, which is unfortunate. You say yes, and oh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering because I'm like, a couple people said that their Hobby Lobby was open. It was crowded, was it? Oh my goodness, I know it was because a lot of people love Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has their own style of yarn, you know? You're not going to be able to get that everywhere, especially those. Um, I like some of those, I love this yarn type of stripes type of looks. I can't exact, like, it's kind of like a stripe kind of yarn, sub striping. And I haven't tried one, but one of my friends gave me one, gave me a skein. I was like, oh, really? This is how Hobby Lobby does? I'm going to have to hang it out, hang out there. Ah, okay. So when you're talking about crocheting, guys, like when it comes to like things, you say you're in yarn anonymous. Yeah, yes. Nana's hands is definitely in yarn anonymous. I'm gonna be honest. For anybody who does not know, um, Manda is a yarnaholic, so she has to go to yarn anonymous meetings, and then they answer the the meetings and they say hello. I'm Sherelle, and they say hi, Sherelle. They say I'm Sherelle, and I'm a yarnaholic. <laughs> so yes. We all have to say hi, Sherelle, because she's a bit of a yarnaholic. For those who do not follow her, please follow her on Instagram. She has so many awesome things she makes, but she also shares all these yarn hauls, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yarn hauls. So, also, Sherelle, sis Sherelle, um, I have something to tell you. I'm, we, me and you only know this conversation, right? So, remember what we were talking about, and I told you how... It didn't come, and it wasn't coming, and I was wondering what was going on. I never changed my name at my bank, okay? So I'm still using my maiden name, and guys, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but every time I get some money or something and deposit into my bank account using my married name, my bank does not know my married name, even though they know my married name, even though my husband's name is my married name. Ha! But I, I know they have to be all... Technical. I got some money sent to the bank. Okay. And it was directed to deposit into my bank account and the bank rejected it because they did not know this person. Even though the person has the same social security number and my husband's name's on the account as well. But the bank did not notify me that something came in and that it was rejected. So I have to go through all the parameters and all the steps and all that good stuff. And, um, 
procedures. Did I say parameters? Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. I have to go through all those steps again to get my money. And it's my money and I want it now. So I have to go through all that, guys. But yes, that's going to be coming soon. Um, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Joanne's is open in Philadelphia. Yeah, I think my, oh, is it all the way open though? Oh, I don't know if mine's all the way open or not. I have to check and see. But I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Are y'all ready to rush in? I mean, I still want to be careful wherever I do because I know everybody, we're all crafters and stuff. But I still kind of want to be a little suited and booted when I go into these stores. I mean, you know, especially when they're crowded. I, I mean, how do y'all feel about that? Nana says, I found 99 cents online company. Um, really? One ninety nine and 99 cents. What? But the good news that it is coming for sure. Yes, it's the good news is coming for sure. Yes, because I was thinking it was something else. Ugh. Because everybody was like, oh, this is going to happen, you know. Yes, yes, yes. I got a package coming, guys. I can't tell you about the package, but I got a package coming. <laughs> but anyways, seriously, guys, I love y'all. I wanted to play a couple games. I wanted to play. I, I want to play another game on my computer. I got to figure out how to get my internet. Yes, he is always on time, isn't he? I want to play a game on my computer with um the stream yard, where we can see the screen together and all that good stuff. But this internet is not the best, and I don't know what to do. Then I wanted to do something with a. I might just do my like dry erase board. I might just take it back to old school. Oh, you say you, you're not in a hurry. I'd rather wait. Yeah, exactly. I'm not in a hurry either. Like, I don't want to just run in there and just be like, you know, jumping all over people. I don't want it to feel like a Black Friday thing. I never really bit Black Friday shopping, but I've always seen videos and people talking about it. I'm not really in a rush to be in big crowds like that. I'm not. <laughs> and it seems like every time I go to a grocery store, I mean, a craft store, it's pretty empty. So I don't have to deal with the big crowds. It's really like, you know, but like now people are like hung. I didn't, like, you don't know how many people craft, okay? until something like this happens and then it opens back up again. You're like, man, I didn't even know this many people crafted my city like this. And especially my city. My city's kind of small, so I didn't... <coughs> choked on a little cereal. Sorry, guys. Okay, guys. Um, Let me see. Let me try to ask you a couple questions. Okay. That was a little fun. Oh, you said guys and Dana's voice? Smileysyarn.com. Yes, you know I say guys all the time. I remember one day I was like, oh, I'm sorry for saying guys. I just say it all the time. Smileysyarn.com. Look it up. Okay, guys. We're going to look up Smiley's Yarn, guys. For those who remember, please jot that down. That is a nice place to get some goodies from. If you guys want to know about goodies, Nana's Hands knows about all the goodies. She'll keep us informed on what's, what's, what are the musts. Okay, guys, if it comes to crocheting, somebody sends you an order and they're like, oh, can you make this? What is something that you would just say no to right away? Like you wouldn't even look it up. You wouldn't pretend to buy a pattern or you wouldn't buy a pattern, look up a tutorial. You would just say no. What is that one thing that you would just say no to like automatically? Like what's a deal breaker when it comes to crochet or making an order or just even a gift? Like if somebody offered, like asks you to make it and you just be like, no, like they can give you the top dollar. <laughs> and you were just like, no. Nana's hand says bathing suits. So Nana's is not hanging out with those bathing suits. You're not getting no swimsuits, no halter tops. You're not getting any one pieces, two pieces, or three pieces. Okay, you said they are on, They only let 27 people in at a time. And you have to follow the arrows in the store and stay six feet away from each other. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so Nana's also saying dresses for women. So she's not doing any dresses. Uh, you probably do something for little girls, is that what you're saying? But you don't, you're not doing anything for um, for adults, adult women. Um, okay, yeah. So, yeah. I went to this dress shop before for my husband, and, um, like, we had the same thing. It was like Eros, and I was used to just going in there my own way. Because it's a really small store. But they said Eros and stuff, and I felt bad. I'm like, let me just follow the rules, you know? Just because I'm a I'm a person that's always coming. I'm a frequent shopper. I'm not about to just start, you know, doing my own thing, even though I wanted to, because it just made it so hard to get to where I wanted to go. Because I'm, but it, it was okay though. I, I appreciate that they did have these setups, you know, for everybody. But it was kind of hard. So Minda says dolls. Do, Minda's like, nope. 
not gonna happen. Like, Manda is like, mm -mm. can you make this doll for me? Mm -mm. <laughs> you can go to her, she'll make it for you. Mm -mm, not me. Okay, also, Sharon says the bikini suit. So, y'all not doing no bikinis. I have done bikinis. Um, I've had a couple orders for them. Um, I kind of just do them for fun, just to like make easy stuff up, and I'm kind of bored and I don't have anything to make. And then summertime, I've tested patterns for them. Okay, you so said women can be super picky and freaky, finicky. I can't, sorry, I'm, I'm reading from afar. But yeah, I, exactly. When it comes to that, yeah. And when it comes to making bikinis and stuff like that, it's so much science to it, but it's kind of getting better because I'm in a couple groups where people are making them and they're making them like really fitted and they're, and you get a lot of measurements. A lot of times with these um like dresses, clothing, you have to get measurements from people. Um, if you're not with them per se yourself, you got to get measurements. And I was scared of measurements at first, guys. I was like, oh my goodness, what if this comes out wrong? I started doing measurements, guys, and I had people wear my stuff in Jamaica, uh, Las Vegas. People have been traveling with the stuff on, and I'm like, yes. I had one outfit I made, guys, because I was worried. I'm going to show you. Hold on one second. Let me see what everybody's saying. Kids sell better. Yes, kids definitely sell better. Um, I definitely agree with you on that because that's where I started at. Y'all know I started with babies and kids. Like, that's it. So, oh, and Latoya said, I'll make a doll, but Latoya... What won't you? Oh, okay, I got it. I see it down here. You said what won't you make? Okay, Messina says I'm amigurumi. I don't know how to do them. Yeah, I know what you're saying amigurumi's dolls, all that stuff, different pieces, stuffing them, sewing them, creating faces, hair, toes, fingertips. Mm -mm. No. Okay, Linda says I I have never have made clothes. Okay, so you never made clothes. All right. So yeah, those are some things that we don't make. We haven't made. I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying because I, I thought I wasn't going to make any, but then I started branching out. I started seeing other people make clothes and I'm like, I want to make clothes. I want to make those things, you know, start finding different little patterns for them. And then I just started branching out and just having a ball. Hey, D.O.I., how are you? I appreciate you for coming in that thumbs up. Thank you for joining. Okay. You say I won't make clothing for other people, but I will make it for them. Okay. So that's good. You make it for yourself, but. It might be hard to make for other people. Exactly. Certain patterns are not too bad. Um, they're kind of like universal patterns, like a sweater or like simple stuff. Some simple stuff, some simple tops are pretty simple. But when it comes to making like customizable stuff and people wanted to be like this on this side, that on that. Yeah. Some of that stuff can be a little hard. But um, if you do have measurements for somebody, it makes it a lot easier. I think one thing I feel like will be hard will be pants. I haven't made any pants for anybody. I made them for my daughter and just kind of like made them to her body. But I haven't really made any pants. I'm kind of wanting to try them though. And you said, sorry for the company. Be all right. Okay, yeah, no problem. Yes, hello, Jeannie. Come on in. Thank you. I'm having a great day. Thank you for showing some love. Yes. So what are you doing over at DOI, Cicerea? Are you working on anything? You get some more videos done? Yeah, okay. So Gail says sweater. So you're not going to do any sweaters, Gail? You're not into the sweaters? So somebody can say, hey, Gail, can you please make me one of these sweaters? I need a sweater. And you're like, nope. And yes, uh, DOI says Soraya, a.k.a. Jeanette. We are talking about things that we will not make. If someone asks us to make something, what will we just like a no-no? Or are you, Sister Ray kind of reminds me of someone who will be like, I'll make anything. But is that the case? Are you one of those people who are like, um, what can I, you know, somebody send you something and it's just like a no-no. Thank y'all for getting a thumbs up and say that thumbs up going up. Thank y'all. What are y'all, what are your no-goes? Oh, okay. So, yes. Sis Jeanette says, yes, I'm working on some granny scripts. Oh, really? Yes. I'm doing a couple things with granny scripts too. I kind of started a couple of them and I haven't went back to them yet, but. I'm going to go back to them. I'm working on a couple of different things with those. Because I see a lot of people doing Granny Square. It's kind of like the year of the Granny Square, I heard. Hello, how are you? Sis Dorbeth, thank you for coming in and showing some love. I was able to come, go hang out with Sis Dorbeth last night. It was so fun. Got to watch her sew and sing and just like chat. And I met a lot of new people in her group as well. I was like, yes. 
So that's what I like to do. Like lately, I've been kind of taking a little time off so that way I can spend some time with everybody else. So that way it can be fun. And that way I don't just hog all this live time. I don't want to hog it all. I know you guys are supporting me because I know I'm trying to get my hours, but I just don't want to hog it all. But I don't want to you know, spend some time with everybody else too. Oh, you love this top that I'm wearing? Thank you. This yarn is called Lion Brand Shawl. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball. Super fun yarn. Uh, has some really nice colors. This one even has, even has a shimmer. I hope you guys can see that. Do, do, do. It has like a little shimmer to it. So I hope, can you guys see me really good? For some reason, I don't know if it's because this light is blinding me. I feel like I'm dark. But if y'all can see me good, please let me know. Because I will get this light pushed closer to me. I just feel like I'm in a dark place. But it might be the light is blinding me. So I might have to be careful. Thank you so much. The color. Oh, thank you so much. I cannot remember what color this is, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It sucks. Some type of metallic yarn. Do y'all want to know? I can look it up. You just need one skein. One skein of yarn. I'm a 3X. Let me show you with you how long it goes. You just need one skein. That's what I like about this yarn. You can get it for different prices. Um, you can get it as low as $2, depending on where you're getting it from. Line brand, they'll do deals. Um, different Hershners will do deals on it. Walmart. So it just depends on. I'm going to share with you how long I have it. I'm not, I think this might be one of the ponchos that I actually did a full skein. I think, or close to a full skein, because it went, it's like super long. I hope you guys can see it. I don't even know if you, how I'm going to show you guys. But Oh, can I show you? Let's see. No. It's super long, though, guys. It's like all the way down to my knees. Okay, now I'm going to get caught up in here. Only my lives. I have to get caught up in, in plugs and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, guys. Let me get, okay. Let me try to get a little bit more centered. Oh, okay. I'm not centered. That's why. I don't want to block my kitchen out. I need my white screen so you guys can see me. It's so dark in my kitchen. Okay, but yes. Let's see. Okay, you said, Pine looks great on you. Is it your pattern? Oh, okay. No, this is um, Bag of Days pattern. I feel like I'm sideways now. Okay. Sorry, guys. Forgive me. But yeah, so it's Bag Day's pattern. For anybody who doesn't know, her name is Bag Day Crochet. Well, her name is Crystal. But it's from Bag Day Crochet. It's pattern 483. So it's a really super pattern. And you use worsted weight yarn um, and you use a K hook. Um, if you're using this yarn, the shawl and the ball, you do have to crochet loosely. If you're using any other worsted weight yarns that are kind of like, you know, just average worsted weight, you don't have to crochet, excuse me, you don't have to crochet as loose, but you definitely have to crochet loose with this because it will not drape and it will make it super small because you only have to do 20 rows. That's how fast the pattern is. But if you do not crochet loose, you'll probably end up with like 40 rows because it will not um, be big enough. And this is, I like this pattern because you can kind of stretch it. Look at that. You can stretch it in place. It washes up great. I love it. It's a worsted weight yarn, even though it's really, it's a really skinny worsted weight yarn. Hey, Mary. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Dorothy. And you said, hello. Hi, lovely cooking dinner. Steak, mashed sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness. Stuffed artichokes. Now that sounds really good, Mary. So are you stuffing those artichokes with like cheeses and stuff, like breadcrumbs? I've seen some people do something like that, but I'm... I'm not sure. And they like break off the little artichoke pieces and just, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about really, thank you, Mary. Thank you. I'm thinking about changing this name from Thursdays to making meat to actually making eat because I'm always eating, talking about food. I'm just kidding, but I really, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm a maker at heart. So let me get to the makes. I'm going to scoot this back so you guys can, we can work together and make up some stuff. Oh, breadcrumbs and cheese and olive oil. Yep. I knew it. Okay. So Dana, I can see you good, but I'm working. Hey, Jeanette and everybody else has entered the room. I was working on my sign. Yes, I know you over there working. I know you working, Miss Tina. I'm glad to see you over here still working, getting stuff done. Okay. And now so DOI says... I don't like making toys at all. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. And McGroom, yes. Exactly. I know what you're talking about. I don't know exactly what you're saying. You pretty much spelled it right. I believe so, yeah. I definitely agree with you. Those are like my... Now, I, I will make them. You know, but that, the penny has to be right. I'm going to be honest. 
Um, things that I won't make, like I had one amigurumi that I was, it was a no go. I told a couple people already. It was some it was some mice, and um, I was live on Instagram, and I was telling everybody I said they're some mice. They have whiskers and ears and eyes and fingers, and the the fingers were like skinny like chicken fingers or chicken feet. You know, you get the chicken feet at the store. Those feet on that on that um those fingers and stuff on that rat on them. On the mouse were so small. I was like, yeah, I can't crochet that. Like, that's just no. Like, if I was to have to make those fingers and stuff, I would just, like, cut out some strips of felt or something. I, I would never. That It was that small. I'm not about to get carpal tunnel over a mouse. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing those. Hey, Granny, how are you? Thank you for coming in. How you doing? Hey, Antoinette. Hey. Good to see you. I'm happy everybody's here. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for hitting that thumbs up. Y'all are so sweet. I'm over here working on this top. I didn't pick it back up again, guys. So I'm going to back and get started here again. You said, ooh, send it to me. Send you what? Are you, what are you talking about? Or something you're talking about? Are oh, you talking about the mouse? The mouse pattern? Oh, my goodness. You, you want that mouse pattern? I'll send you that mouse pattern. Because I, I was definitely not doing it. I'm not. A, I'm, I was a, one of those kids who did not like mice. You know, I have friends who have mice for pets. But I had friends, I, but I, I had mice at times when I was a kid that would sneak in the house. And I was not trying to be, I didn't want them to be a pet. I didn't want them to be a pet at all. They scared me, so. Mm -mm. You definitely can have that pattern, as well. You definitely can have it. Definitely, I can't do it. Did anybody ever have, like, mice as pets or kids or anything? I don't think I can do the mice as pets. But, ooh, Granny, I just had a video. Hold on, let me show you something, Granny. I gotta show you something because I don't know if you saw my video. I had a I have a buzzing noise in my video, so it's annoying, but I gotta find this. I gotta find something for you, Granny, if you're still here. Look at this, Granny. I gotta show you. I gotta figure out which book it was in, but I showed some love to you in my last video. I said, Oh, this granny will love this. I'm gonna surprise Granny with this. But now it's not gonna be surprised if you're still here, so. Oh, they got some good stuff. I need you to show all this stuff in this book on my my video. Oh. What? What is this? What is that playing? What is this for? Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this. I didn't even show this in my video. Look. This is a heating pad cover. Have anybody ever made their own heating pad cover? I have a heating pad because like my stomach hurts and I have cramps and dealing with issues like that. I like to have me a heating pad. And I never knew you could actually crochet over it. And you know, I'll make you like a little cover. I mean, I probably wouldn't do this for say design, but I like it. Okay. Oh, uh, look at this right here, guys. I've seen these before, but this is a really nice one. Okay, I'm sorry. I want to show Granny what I was talking about. I didn't I didn't get to look through this whole book because that video would have been so long. But it had some good stuff in here. I was going to show you Granny um, this little goodie. Hold on, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Is it? I hope it's in this, I'm be in this book. I don't know. Oh, yes, it is. Granny, look, if you're still here. Look at that. It's a squirrel. It says Sarah squirrel. Oh, so this is a little girl squirrel. And she got the flowers in her hand. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. The lighting is good sometimes when it wants to be. There we go. Look at that. It has a little bushy tail. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, this is one of my videos, guys. I shared some of these different um, patterns in these books that I have. And it kind of likes to make up. Um, you know, because a lot of times... We have all these books, guys. I mean, we have all the digital patterns, you know? There's so many different digital patterns out there. I've become a digital pattern person. I have so many books over the years and bought all that stuff. And then now this word of digital has come out. So now I'm just like, oh, I'll buy a pattern. And it's crazy because patterns are becoming the price of a full book. You can buy a book for like $20, and now they have single patterns for $20. So it's like, wow, I kind of want to go back to my book days, honestly, a little bit. Um, depending on the pattern, you know, because I like to get the bang for my book. Honestly, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Are y'all book people or y'all more, um, y'all prefer the digital patterns? I know the books, um, the, the digital patterns, they're coming from people and these ideas are fresh. So I do like the digital pattern for that. Um, cause I know that if I find, um, someone who's like creating right now, they're going to kind of take that time out to create some fresher things I haven't seen, but I know if I go on some of these retro books, I can go and change some things up and make them um, 
my own. Well, not making my, I'm not going to take the pattern per se and say it's my own, but I'm saying that if I see something like this, I can make it, I can jazz it up my own way, right? Look at that. Like these little booties, you know? I like little booties. I like house shoes. Okay. I may not do the lace around here, you know? I may do something different. I may want to put a strap across the ankle. You know, I might want to do something different, put a little flower on the side, whatever it may be. But, you know, some of these older, older patterns are something that you can revamp and, you know, create a new style. You can, you know, make it new. So I know that they're older and they're not as, you know, up to date. But like I said, I think you can really change them up and make them your own. You said you need that book? He said, I saw a pattern for $20 and knocked me. Ooh, yes, that is hands. Yes, that's how they're doing it now. Yeah, that's a new thing. It's Everything's going up. And these patterns are going up too. I'm not ready for that. I'm not. That's what I'm going to start doing. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Yes. You need that book? I'm definitely going to be starting to... Um, that's why I said I have some stitch books. Miss Tina brought out her stitch books. And then she kind of like made me want to start buying those stitch books that she had. But I'm like, I went and looked. I have digital books of them. Digital copies of all these different stitch books. And I'm like, why am I going to go buy more stitch books and I haven't even used any of the ones that I have? So I'm going to start trying to work on some of those and then go from there. Then maybe I'll get more. But at this time, I don't. I'm getting to the age now where I'm like realizing what I need and what I don't need. I'm trying to get a little bit better with it, you know? It's kind of hard, though. If y'all are hoarders, I'm a hoarder. So I need to get everything. I need, oh, I need this. I need that. And so when, I, when I'm when i trying, I'm trying to be very disciplined. It's very hard for me not to buy patterns. Very hard for me not to get the yarn. Um, um, but the good thing is I, I, I still can get yarn, which is not a bad thing because I still I have a business. So yarn is beneficial. But certain things is not. You know, if I have all this, I'm collecting patterns, I'm collecting paper, and I'm not using it. You know, and so now I'm trying to say, let me wait till I actually need this pattern, you know, but then I get to that hoarder, a hoarder mindset. I'm going to be honest. If you are a hoarder, a hoarder's mindset is going to say, hey, I need this now because it's going to be gone if I go back. And there's sometimes where they, they will be gone. The, the pattern might be gone. The yarn may be discontinued, but there's going to be more that come out. Someone's going to revamp that same thing that you didn't get. So it's basically wait for it. That's what I'm telling myself right now, guys. I'm telling you, that's what I have to tell myself because I, I could go bankrupt buying craft stuff. I'm going to be honest, but good thing I have a husband who won't let me ha what to happen, but, and then I won't have any room. Like I'll have to be on hoarders. People will have to come in the house and just like start grabbing stuff. And then I'll be crying in the corner. My kids was like, mommy, you don't need this. I'm like, don't take my yard. And I'm just in the corner crying. Like, I feel like that could happen. So I do thank God that I do have my children because, and my husband, like, because I'm telling you, like, it could, it could really happen. Okay. Granny says, I got two really great books from the Dollar Tree. What? Get out of here. You said they were like 20, 20 books? $20 books. What? Granny, come on. You said that was the price on the books. They are so great. One has amigurumi and the other is... What? Granny, you got a great steal. That was awesome. So every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I have to go check the book section. What? Wow. Now that's great. That's great, guys. Everybody's been telling me all these different stores. Um, this one lady told me about, I can't remember what store it's called, but I know I learned about Tuesday morning. Excuse me. One of my friends in New York has a Tuesday morning, and she goes there, and she gets hooks and yarn. And I'm like, oh, really? Tuesday morning? I've never been. I, I know where it's at. I went there like a couple times when I lived in that area. And um, really, I don't think I was really like, heavy on the crocheting or anything. And I don't even know if they had anything in there, but now they have this miscellaneous craft area. And I guess they have yarn and hooks, so you can just go in there and get different stuff. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I agree with you, CJ. I definitely agree with you. It's hard not to hoard. Because it's always so much. I'm telling you, it's so much stuff that's coming out and you just want to have everything. But then you realize, like, I can't do everything. Like, you know? And that's why I'm getting to that point, too. I'm getting to the point. I'm working on a test. I'm working with this with you all. And I have a couple orders to get done. And I want to do videos. And I want to do lives. And I still have to do stuff with the family. And it's like, I want to do everything. And I'm, I have to realize, let me just balance it out and do what I'm supposed to do. But kind of hard to balance it out, guys. Especially when you're 
have an addiction. Now, if it was a doily I would do, like, I think I would do one of these doilies, guys. Just because they're super, they look simple. I don't know if Miss Tina's looking up or not, but this one is super simple. Well, it looks super simple. And it looks like you double up the yarn. Have you ever had a doily where I doubled up the yarn? Yeah, I think you must double this up. Let me see. I don't know. It looks like you double these up. And that's what it looks like to me. Because it says you're supposed to use um, size 10 thread and a size 6 steel hook. Hmm. It just looks like it's supposed to be doubled up for some reason, but maybe it's not. It looks kind of like it's double thickness, but it looks good though. These are coasters. Oh, these are coasters. 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 These are coasters. I don't know why it keeps going dull like this. It's really annoying. But yeah, so these are coasters. I, I could probably do something like that. And even if you wanted to, you could just like, you could just like make them with worst away yarn, jazz it up. You can do whatever. Like you can create your own stuff. He said, whore is buying and storing without intending to use it. It is. Okay, I say I see what you're saying. It is a hazard. Okay, so maybe I'm not a hoarder. Maybe I'm just collecting it because I actually intend to use it. I don't like to. I don't like to let my stuff sit too long without me using it. I don't care what it is. I'll start making up stuff, and that's why I like to get into craft fairs because it's like, oh, I have a way to get this done. Or if I can donate, like the hat and I hate, I can make up stuff to donate or make up for my family to wear. You know, oh, it's getting cold outside. Oh, let me whip up some hats. We all need hats. We all need scarves. You know, like I, I feel like we need to, you know, I don't like to, I don't like to collect it. I'm going to be honest. I like to actually use it because I don't, I'm, I mean, I mean, I can't take it with me, you know, and I don't want to just have a whole bunch of stuff and then I'm just leaving it for my, my family and they're like, oh, this stuff is all, you know, and they just go, I'm spending thousands of dollars. Something happens to me. They just go give it away to Goodwill, which is good for somebody else. But I mean, I spent thousands of dollars. They don't, they're not going to learn how to crochet or they might, but still. So you got it's kind of like a pace yourself type of thing. And you said I used to check in the Goodwill and the thrift stores, but never found anything great. But I always check when I just go. Yeah, my Goodwill always has some good stuff in it. Honestly, I don't know why, but they do. They always have good stuff in there. Like they really do. Um, uh, let me see. The best thing I like to get from Goodwill is like their hooks. I like to get like a lot of the older hooks and stuff like that. They have a lot of knitting needles too. They always have yarn, and they have a lot of um, fiber fill, and they have some really good stuff that I like. Um, yeah, but I haven't really got a lot of yarn there in a long time. My husband was like, "You know, I don't like that was, that was I haven't been to Goodwill in probably about a year." Um, and the last time I went there, I got what did I end up getting? I think it was like some decorations or something. I think might have been some decorations, but other than that, I haven't got yarn there in a while just because some I used to kind of like that's when I was really really kind of addicted. And I was just like, pick up yarn from there. I'm like, oh, I can make something with this. I'm like, nine out of 10, I probably won't. <laughs> but I did used to like get addicted to it. Cause some, some of the yarn is good. Like if you go to Goodwill, sometimes you'll find good skeins of yarn. And sometimes you'll find like little ruffled skeins and some of them be kind of rough. But I was finding some good, I was finding some good stuff, y'all. I don't know who anybody else ever went to like thrift stores to get like crafts. Okay. And you said, I've gotten Kieran big cakes from Tuesday morning. What? See, that's good. Who else has a Tuesday morning? He said, I just sat and look at my yarn and say, oh, how pretty. I don't know. Exactly. Sometimes you have those moments, though. You're like, I have this. I don't know what to make with it. Because like, it was a point like that when I told my husband. My husband was like, oh. I was like, babe, I don't have that much yarn. He was like, what? I was like, I don't. Because um, if we're if you're a crochet, though, guys, and you're making certain things, we know. Like, if you're going to make a top like this, right? I know I need four of these skeins. I don't have four of every color, guys. I may have two of every color or one or some of every color, but I don't have four of every skein. So when I say I don't have enough yarn, that doesn't mean I don't actually have a lot, but it just means I don't have enough for what I'm creating, you know? So he's like, oh, you can't make anything? I'm like, no, because I don't have, you know, I don't have enough yarn for that project. And he's like, oh, you're just, <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, that makes amazing doilies and earrings. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to be getting me some more, um, Crochet thread so I can make some more earrings because that's why I'm I'm like I need I need to get some now. And he said fill with that tiny thread and hooks. But Tina is, yeah, she does. Miss Tina does a really great job with the earrings and the door and the thread. And I've been doing a lot of it too. I made some myself as well. And you said, um, yeah, you said I'm scared to get secondhand. 
I think it may have bugs. Exactly. That's why I was like, you know what? I had to let go of the yarns and stuff because I'm going to be honest, like, I just, I don't, I like to get my yarn, like, from stores. Like, I'll get, I might get a hip hook or something. That way those can be, like, you know, sanitized. You can get those all taken care of. But when it comes to yarn, just got to be careful. I don't like to get yarn from places that I just don't know. You know, that's why I was like, my husband told me that. He was like, babe, and it's been a while anyway. It's been probably about two or three years. So now when I go to Goodwill, I, I won't, I would like to get books. I do like the books. I like the hooks. I like the books and the hooks, but when it comes to yarn and things like that, I just, I don't, because a lot of times this stuff has been sitting in someone's garage or outdoors and, you know, like you said, the bugs, you'll get bugs, you'll get, like, so I just, I'd rather not, if I don't, you know, I'd rather not. I'd let it be for somebody who needs it or if somebody wants to donate something to somebody or teach somebody something you just needed, like a quick fix, but yeah, I don't, I don't really do that too much. And you said, I wish... We had a Tuesday morning. Oh, really? People get st get stuff there and force it. Yes, my one of my friends told me about um, one of my friends told me about um, what was I gonna say? Tuesday morning, and I was like, really? And I I I know I have one, but I never went there to enjoy it. And now that I know that it's really good, I'm gonna have to take my time. Hopefully, they'll be actually open um soon. If they're not already open, I can go check check it in, check on it. Hey, how are you, Hook Hook Crochet? Thank you for coming in. How are you? Yes, hello. Thank you for coming in, showing some love. Yes, I'm. This is my poncho. My um, that's not my pattern, but it's a mesh poncho by Bag o Day. Um, and it's our pattern 483. I made it with shawl and a ball, so it's really fun yarn. Okay, you said I got to travel 30 miles to get to suit. Really? Yeah, I don't know how many miles it is for me, for me. I have to check it out and see because I know it's, I want to say about 20 minutes away, 20, 25 minutes away, but I don't know how many miles it is. Oh, you said if you put your yarn in a bag and put it in the freezer, it will kill any, oh, it kills any, I, I didn't know about the freezer. I probably get into the freezer because my freezer is like really stuffed with stuff. I told you I collect everything. Yeah, I collect meats, foods, canned goods. All that. So I gotta give me another freezer to freeze out the cooties. He said, my sweet D is not. Yes, Granny D is in the house. That's what I'm saying. Super sweet. Granny D, I've been loving Granny D. If you go to Granny D's channel and hang out with her and watch her live, because I try to catch her, sometimes I'm late. <laughs> sometimes I get in there, I'm like, oh man, I'm, I'm late. And I don't, sometimes I don't say anything because I know Granny D's gonna be like, you're late. You're, <laughs> you came in the last 10 minutes. I'm like, Granny, I'm sorry. <laughs> Because it, it, I'm in the middle of doing something or whatever happens, I don't have my phone to see my notifications, and I don't keep my notification sound on because it'll just ding every second. I just don't like to hear that noise. So, um, but if you go to hang out with Granny D, you're gonna see her nice. She rocks her crochet. She's gonna have a hat, nice hat on. She's gonna have some earrings on. She's gonna be having some nice crochet attire on. So I love going there. She got a nice background set up. I can't wait to give me a nice little yarn background set up. Um, then she has her tea. She's been trying to get me to get on this tea, so I got to get into that tea. Oh, yes. And you said, oh, yes, I love you, too. And she said, love you. I'm so glad you come to my lives. Love you. Yes, I love going to Granny D's lives. I like to hang out with everybody, you know? I do. That's, I'm, I'm just an open person. I'm just going everywhere. We're going to hang out. I'm going to just go everywhere. And everybody that's live, I'm, I'm, I go to people's lives that probably have never heard of me. They're probably like, who is this? And I just jump in on a conversation. And they're probably like, okay. <laughs> they, but a lot of people don't mind, but I do. I'm like, hey, yeah. I've been there. Like, I, I mean, because that's what live is for. What's in your cup? Oh, yeah, what's in your cup? I don't have anything in my cup because I'm not even drinking a cup. I have a little milk in my bowl, though. Oh, yes, Granny has those bracelets. Yes, Granny. I forgot. I forgot the company's name for those bracelets. Granny's been talking about how they had a sale. I don't know if the sale's still going on or not. But those bracelets are beautiful. Yes, Granny is off the hook. I mean, she's so welcoming too, y'all. Like, that's why I said when I do my videos and stuff, I just like welcome right everybody in. Like, just have a good time. Like, you know, we're gonna have a great time and just hang out. Okay, yes, it's called Shaska. Shaska or Shaska, one of the two. They have braces. They have some really nice jewelry. If you've ever been to Granny's Lives, guys, you're going to see the jewelry. She, Granny is blinged up. Okay, you're gonna, You want to see blinged up Granny? Go over to her channel. She has all her goodies on. And, like, if you send her stuff, guys, you're going to see your stuff that you send her. 
You know, you're going to see, she's going to make sure there's a way for you to see what she's bringing. I mean, what she, her gifts are, you know, she really makes you feel like she, she appreciates you. And I love that. So yeah, Mike, I don't have a cup, but I do have some water. Is everybody drinking on anything? I have some water guys I'm trying to get back hydrated. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get back hydrated. You said Matthew Fox, awesome bracelet. What? Oh, is that is it's not Shaska Matthew Fox, is it? Because I know you were telling me last night, I just followed him, and you were telling me that he makes jewelry. Is it he's not a part of Shaska, or is he? And you said keep checking the site for sales. And I'll always tell you when my when they have great sales. Okay, yes. So like Grandy says, keep on checking that site. If anybody's interested in jewelry, um, they have some really good stuff there, and you can just keep checking. But Granny, if you follow Granny and you subscribe to her, um, you check out her live, she'll always let you know like what's going on. And so that's really, really good. Oh, yes. You're so welcome, Granny. It's just, it's really true. Um, people always say it to me, like, oh, you always shout people out. Like, I just do because in this crafty world, we need that. We need an uplifting. Like, this is where we come to just everybody's channel. We come hang out and we just work together, create all that good stuff. That's what I'm about. I'm about lifting people up and being encouraged. I can't wait to go hang out with Sandy. One hour, guys. Anybody doesn't know already, people probably know. Sandy, we left his right crochet is Sandy. We're going to be heading over to Sandy's, hanging out with her, and then we're going to come back here. I got some games. I got some prizes. Uh, I want to do some for Mother's Day. So this is going to be a late night Mother's Day giveaway when I, we come back from Sandy's for anybody who's still up. I don't know. It might be a little late, but I think Sandy's show is about an hour. So we're going to be going there from 8, 8 Eastern time to 9 Eastern time and then coming back here right 9.05 or so, if that it might be earlier, but... Then coming back here and then doing these games and some giveaways. I would do them right now, but I don't know. I need to get everything set up, really. Oh, okay. Uh, Sis Dorbet says she has some iced coffee with salted caramel creamer. Hmm. Hey, Nightingale. Hello. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. That thumbs up. How are you doing today? Are you working on anything? I'm going to get back to um, working on this granny square top. I was just sharing every, with everybody some of my books. I don't know if you got to see my video. Late Night Mother's Day Extravaganza. Yes, there we go. Late Night Mother's Day Extravaganza. Okay, so that means we're going to, for those who are mothers, some of you are not mothers, and it's not against the mothers. I mean, those who are not mothers. If you are not a mother, don't worry. It's not something that's just designated for mothers only. Don't feel like that. It's for everybody. So come on back in. It's basically a Wednesday. We're going to have some fun. We're going to chat. We're going to do some giveaways. And we're going to play some games. So it's going to be really, really awesome. Um, I just want to have a good time. But I know I told Sandy I was going to hang with her for an hour. And so I don't want to be rude. Because she always comes and hangs out with me. And we're on the same day. We share Thursday, guys. And so when you share Thursday with someone, I'm not going to be the one that hogs all the time up. And people are like, I want to have, you know, I don't want to do that. Because I want to help her. Get whatever you know when you have a lot of people you're watching your videos helps your hours, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my hours helped. I got about 16 hours to go. Okay, you'll be there, Maxine. Thank you. He said, I'm working on the all in a family blanket by Crow Shaker. Oh, wow, it's one of my friends, one of my little proteges. Um, is working on that too, so I can't wait to see how it comes out. I have been trying to get into the blankets. I think that's that's one of my things that I will. I, I guess I will do, but it's I just it's kind of hard. I don't always do them because people don't want to pay, want to charge. No, they don't want to pay me what I charge. So that's why I don't do a lot of blankets. I prefer to do clothing because they're quicker. I prefer to do uh, like the bathing suits, the baby clothing, accessories, hat scarves. But when it comes to baby, like when it comes to the blankets. I don't make a lot of them. I started one for myself and I never finished it. That's how much I love blankets. <laughs> exactly. So have y'all been like, for those who've been buying yarn, you used to buy yarn from Hobby Lobbies and um, Joann's and all that stuff. Have y'all decided since we're on this break, have y'all just tried new places or y'all just been like, just order from these places online or have you ever been like really venturing out and having a little fun? Cause I know there's different uh, independent yarn sellers and different things like that. So have y'all ever tried anybody since we've been on this break? Or y'all just like, no, I'm, I'm sticking to what I know. 
Okay, so Hook Cook says, I am. Oh, okay. You said doing good. Not even guess I was doing good. I'm working on my just feel festive shawl. Hoping it will help me with my depression. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Nightingale. That depression kind of kicks in and it's like, wow, I gotta find something to do to keep me busy. Keep something to keep me lifted up. And that's why I've been doing I like to do these lives and talk to everybody so that way we can just kind of let some stuff off our chest and we can just chat. And we can just like, you know, just enjoy ourselves because it's kind of hard when you're just alone. You're kind of bored. When you're alone and bored and depressed, like that's a no-no. Like you have to get around people. You have to like get pick up some yarn or pick up something that you like to do. And preferably not really food. Uh, I had to learn that myself. Like I'm getting to a little depressed when I was trying to snack. No, like that's the worst thing to do because like for me, it's always snacking on sweets and all that stuff. So I had to realize like, no, um, but I know exactly what you're saying. So that's something good. Like you're making a nice little festive shawl for yourself. Maybe get, put it on, dress it up. Maybe uh, take some pictures. That'd be really good. So Hook Cook says she's been going to Walmart. All right. Yeah, I've been doing that too. I haven't really been though because I haven't really bought much yarn lately, guys. I'm going to I haven't got any much yarn. I just got some. It was for Mother's Day and I have some more coming. But before, like recently, I haven't really got any at all. I got some from one of my friends and now I'm going to get some more from another friend. Oh. Okay, let me see. There was another question I wanted to ask you guys. Oh, okay. You said our local Michaels never closed really you said keep regular hours what get out of here and you said how do i open back up last week but i do order online wanting to get up an ice yarn oh no i have never ordered anything from ice yarns and a couple people tell me about ice yarns i still haven't been there yet so that's really great granny so you you are you are one of the lucky ones you're able to kind of go in and still shop a little bit if you wanted to that is great Nightingale says, I've been wanting, I've been going to sharing Zooms and that's been helping. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, you can go and hang out in some Zooms. You can like really like talk to people. I can see what y'all working on together and you know, it's really fun. That's why I wish I could, I would need to, I can't wait till I can get my computer running up really well where we can like do the um, stream yarn and then we'll be able to um, see each other. I'm going to see if I can try it tonight though. See if I can do it again tonight. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is so good. I'm so glad. I've been wanting to make that feel festive, that feel good festive shawl. I've been saying I'm going to make one because I like to, I like that. Is, is that the granny square one, right? It's kind of like granny stitch. So I've been wanting to make that too. But I haven't got a chance to make it yet. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. If Victoria, oh, if Victoria, if you're still here, um, do you prefer a, a type of hook? I know last week we were talking about different hooks or earlier this week. And I know people were saying like, oh, some people like to do. Okay, Z did a video. Yep, that's it. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, Granny. Okay, yes, he says it's the grain stitch. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to do that. And a lot of people, I see, I, I like how they do it with the scrap yarn. And it seems like it wouldn't be, like, you wouldn't think it would look so nice, but it really looks amazing. It really would. It truly would. I love the way those those different colors come together, like the scraps. Like, oh, okay. I'm trying to find... Hmm... Yeah, okay, you're gonna finish it like oh you feel like working on my hubby's blanket. Oh, so you're making your husband a blanket too? That is so good. I made my husband a blanket years ago and it's so hot. We don't he doesn't really even use it that much. It like it's super like it is I just made granny squares. I just made granny squares, but it's super heavy because it's like a queen size. Oh, man. So 
So yeah, this is main stain yarn for anybody who doesn't know that. I like how this lighting is doing right now. It feels really weird. I'm ready to be like here. Is that better? I feel like it's better for a second. But anyways, guys, yeah, this is main stage yarn. Let me see if I can close this up for a minute. I was trying to find something. Oh, okay. And you said our Walmart's yarn. Okay, your Walmart's department is pathetic. Really? You said looks like they aren't going to restock. It's been bare bones lately. They look like Tina's looks like it's the same way. That's terrible too because folks, yeah, exactly. Miss Tina's looks the same exact way too. They're both, you're both are having that beer bones. Mine's, uh, I haven't been to mine's. So I don't even know what mine's look like. So I'm kind of curious to see. I have to go there myself um, to pick up some yarn for an order. Um, but I might just have to go like Joanne's or something like that if I can't. They don't have it. And the reason I want to go to Walmart is because I need a big cotton um, cones. And Walmart's cotton cones are a lot cheaper than anybody else's. So that's what I wanted to get. Mmm. It's terrible because folks like that, that have to use a scooter. Exactly. Yep. And Walmart's the only store that has scooters. You're so right. You are so right. Does Joanne's have a scooter? I think Joanne's has them. Do, do they have the scooters? Because my husband has to use a scooter as well. You said, I've not been able to try many hooks. I have boy and off-brand hooks. I like the Yarnology hooks. I won one in a giveaway. Oh, really? Yes. Um, I have not tried the Yarnology. Is that from Hobby Lobby, right? I think that's Hobby Lobby Yarnology. And I just, congratulations to Karina as well. She won my giveaway. Um, she was super excited. So I was like, yay. She's like, she's never won any gig thing. And I remember that. The, I remember the first time I ever won something. Um, it was from a giveaway. And I was like, oh, I won, I won some yarn. That was like the first time I ever want anything let me see what we have here okay you said hey everyone say night okay let me show you guys what i got my husband just got me i want to share with you right quick before we have to get out of here well we don't have to go yet but let me show you with you one second i was gonna have my son get it but he's probably like taking forever it's gonna take forever give me one second guys It's not really, really like craft related, but it's just kind of like a little sale he got. Okay, you said last night, oh, the last time I went to the Great Road location, I was so disappointed. Oh my goodness, are you talking about the Walmart, Linda? Really, are you talking about Joanne's or are you talking about Walmart? Because I'm late, but Ice Yarn is so nice and their shipping cost has been lower. Really? I, that's what I've been hearing. I heard that their shipping is what can get you. So you have to kind of figure out how you want to get their yarn because the shipping can cost be costly. So that's good to know. So there's a lot of people get um a lot of oh so it is Walmart. Okay, Linda. So there's a lot of people get a lot of um every a lot of people have shopped with ice yarn. Linda, have you ever shopped with ice yarn? So I know I told you guys um when it comes to me and shoes. I like shoes, but when it comes to me dressing up, my feet are what you call wide. And so I go to these shoe stores and um, I spend so much money. I mean, I spend so much time, I should say, not money. I don't have a lot of that to spend, but <laughs> I go to these stores and like I sit there for like two or three hours trying on shoes. They don't fit and it's so embarrassing. And my husband laughs at me. He calls my feet Cuban hams. And so I'm like, okay, he's like, oh, yeah, you can't fit those Cuban hams and anything. Hey, Charlie. And so, but he's just joking now, I think. No, I'm just kidding. I think he is joking. But he was like, I'm going to find some shoes so you can have something to wear for the summertime. Because I like to wear flip-flops in the summer. So he ended up finding me like a nice little sandal that'll fit my little wide toes. And this is one of the pair that he got me, guys. I'm going to share it with you. Hold on. Because we've been, we're going to be doing some different things and stuff over the summer. Well, if we had, like, in church, basically. And I'm probably not going to be doing traveling. But still, this is one of the pairs. Look at that, guys. I mean, I know it's simple. And it has the little rhinestones and stuff on it. But I was like, hmm, I like these. I like those little rhinestones. And they have little pearls on it. So I said, this is going to be nice to wear, you know, when I am have nothing to do. Or, you know, when I want to go somewhere. And I still kind of want to jazz it up a little bit. And I want to look nice. And I think this is going to be really good. I, think I know it's going to fit me. 
Hey, Monda, you still here? Thank you for being still here. I appreciate you, Monda. Thank you for the love. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm just showing off these shoes. So these are some really nice shoes, guys. I'm like, I'm happy. Thank you so much, Linda. Yeah, I was like, yes, thank you for the shoes. And they were $10. So that was even better when you can get some shoes that are $10. I know it doesn't have to do with yarn, guys. I'm sorry. Let me share with you something else. Oh, you want to see some? I'll show you guys a little yarn too. Hold on. Thank you. Then I have some other ones. I'll show you all these three of these right quick, guys. Sorry for all the noise. I got like three of the same kind of pair. They're just different colors. So these ones are black, guys. A black pair, just like that. So these can be like every day, you know? So I can wear these with like anything, really. I like to have them black ones. They have the little black bottoms. And I like to have them black because, like I said, you know, when there's days that you don't really know what you're going to wear, like, it could probably just go with anything. Or if you're kind of dressing and get up a little bit, you can. But, like, I think these are nice. And it kind of made me want to, like, start making my own. I'm like, ooh, maybe I can, um, maybe I can make my own. Jazz up my own little flip-flops or something and jazz them up. I don't know. It seemed like a lot of work, but I might try it. And then I got one more pair, guys, I'm going to share with you right quick. And then I'll share with, some, share with you some yarn. Okay. And here's the last pair, guys. The last pair is gold. Look at that gold. What do y'all think? I think the gold is my favorite. I'm going to be really serious. I think this is my favorite. I feel like I just need to make something gold or something. Like a little gold poncho or some type of little top or something. I think those would be really, really good. So I was, I was going to be, I'm really honest because he didn't tell me he was getting me these shoes. I saw him ordering his own shoes, right? I was like, oh, yeah, he ordered his own shoes. That's good, you know? And um, I was like, okay, you know, because I'm happy for him because he needs to order some stuff for himself because he always does stuff for us. And for some reason, he was like, oh, honey, open up the box. And he never really opened the box. For some reason, he kept telling me, just open up the box, honey. Just tell me what you think. I'm like, why is he telling me to open up his box? So I opened up his box. I opened up the box, and shoes were for me. I was like, What? And he was like, uh, and he told my son, he's like, oh, yeah, son, that's how you wine him and dine him right there. I'm like, what are you talking about? So he surprised me with those. I was excited. Okay, so you love, oh, you say miss shopping. Yes, I don't miss shopping. Hood, cook, crochet, you probably have one of those figures. You can probably just have a ball. But it, de it depends on what you're talking about shopping for. Clothes shopping, no. Not for me, but other shopping, yes. I like to do all everything else but clothing. My feet are too wide, my body's too... <laughs> My body's too wide. But when I get down, when I get to the slim size, guys, when I get to the slim size, I'm like, I can fit everything. I love it. But when I get to this little wide size, mm -mm. I wish I could show you my pictures. I wish I had my pictures on here. I'm about to show you. My, oh, I'll probably do that later. I'll probably show you guys my pictures, some wedding pictures, and all that good stuff later on. When we do our little women's day and talk a little bit, chat about stuff. Let me show you some yarn right quick, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a little something because I need to save. I need to save some yarn for a video, an unboxing video. But I just want to kind of have a little super stylish and cute. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, I love sandals. <clears throat> I love sandals too, Manda. Thank you, Vivian. Yeah, um, I'm lagging again. No, I'll start lagging. I closed my computer. I can't think I'm better. But anyways, yeah. So I hope I can. I hope you guys can see me good. I'm sorry. I have not. I think these blind. These uh, lights are blinding me, and it's so hard for me to see myself. Let me see. But anyways, I hope you guys can see me. But yeah, so, okay. Um, so I want to share with you a little bit of this yarn that I have. Um, it's just a little something. These are like already used skeins already. One of my friends gave these to me. I was like, I can use these. I probably can figure out something to do with them, right? What do you guys think? I probably can find something to do with these yarns. Look, this is a Mandela, as we know. But, um, I don't know if, I don't know if, what was that, Victoria, was that Victoria that was in here? 
don't know if Victoria's still in here or not, but I was thinking I could make a, a field festive shawl with this. I think I might do that. Look at this, y'all. These are not full skeins, right? Oh, look at that. I love this Mandela, guys. Look at that. These are all Mandelas, right? I know it might be weird, but I'm wondering if I can do the feel good festive shawl with these Mandelas and just play with them. You know, look at this one. Oh, this is an actual cupcake. Okay, so this is a cupcake yarn. So I like that looks. It kind of reminds me of something I'm the mesh top I was working on. So I can kind of probably put these two together. What is this? This is a Mandela. So I probably could put these two together somewhere on the festive shawl, line these two up, and then go into a different color. Maybe I can line it up. Maybe I can go into the purple, since there's purple there. You know, I can figure out a way to line it up, guys. You know I can. Right? And then that's that purple. I know I held it up horribly. Then I have this Mandela. I think this is Mandela. Yeah. This is Mandela, too. I feel like I can line this up with something. I feel like I can make a festive shawl with this. And it's like line all these different Mandelas up. I don't know how much yarn it takes though. What is this, another Mandela? This is another Mandela. A little bit of one. So I'm thinking I can play with them a little bit. One of my friends was like, she was like, oh, if you want this, you can have it. I'm like, okay. So I like it. I like this too. This is kind of nice. I don't know what kind of yarn this is. It looks like I'm like a... No, I was going to say Simply Soft, but no, it's not. I think she kind of like caked it up a little bit. And then she left a little stopper. Does anybody cake their own yarn? I don't know. I never cake. I need one of those cake machines. That's what I I, I call them cake machine. But I want to get one of those cakers. What is it? What is up? Does anybody know what they're called? Where you cake your winder, a yarn winder? I want to get one of those. And then she gave me some of this, um, which I have so much of this because I was doing that purple set for the um, for Mother's Day, and I have tons of that. But yeah, so I got some different little ones. Another one she caked up. So it's not bad. She just gave me this yarn. She's like, yeah. So I'm happy about this. I'm going to figure it out. How to look at her. She was just caking the ball up. She caked it all up and she has her little string, her little starting spot. Look at that. Go ahead, girl. And then I have some of this. A little variegated yarn I probably can make anything with. I probably can make like a little small uh, mermaid purse or anything. Some of this here, Purple Tones, Red Heart, which I have some of that too. Some more of this. Well, yeah, I got some goodies in here. Nice little freebie box, you guys. You know, you love the little freebies, right? But yeah, I figure I can do something with it. I think I can do something. I, I love this. This is my favorite one. And you know what I'm, I'm going to make, guys? I want to make some of those, um, some of those head wraps, the head scarves, the head kerchiefs. That's something I really want to do. That's going to be the next thing I work on. I got to try to get done with this. This is my thing I have to try to work on getting done. That's my next goal. Finish this up and then um, move on to the next. One of my friends was asking us, she said, what are some of your goals? Do you have any goals that you want to set by like a week's, a week's goal? And I told her I wanted to finish up my testing pattern. So I thought that was a really good question that she asked us. She was like, oh, what are you guys, what are your goals that you guys want to do for next week? And I was like, I'm going to submit my test. That's my biggest goal. And then I want to do my order. And I, I know that's my next thing is um, sending my order in. I got an order. So I want to do that. Um, I think that's pretty much it for right now. So I have, so I can pace myself. But what about y'all? I thought that was a good question to even ask you guys. What do you think? What's a good goal that you guys want to set for yourself? I know I kind of asked you that a lot, but still. <laughs> Every week we have different goals. So, I mean, it can be something different. Sometimes we have goals that we just want to kind of keep something quick. Um, I mean, it might be something we, you know, it might be a long-term goal. It may be a short-term goal. But I think for me, I want to just keep going my channel. I want to keep creating. All that good stuff. So, yes, I'm just going to be finishing up this a little bit while I'm sitting here. Now, 
Hey, Jace. Hi. How you doing? Loving this. Yes, I'm loving it. Probably wants to work on my, my tested pattern. So I might work on my tested pattern. I'm sitting here. Oh my goodness. Let me see. That one, that my yarn is tangled up. Okay, is it good? No, it's not good. Okay, I got my yarn tangled up, guys. If I can get it out. Let me see. Oh, you know what I can do? Just go through here with a skein. Going into the side for a minute. Now I'm gonna work on my um. I'm gonna work on my test pattern for a minute. I a little bit, guys. So I have all this stuff to work with, and I'm praying that it does not um like start getting too tangled where I can't use it because I don't have any more yarn, and I'm gonna have to go buy some more yarn. So that's the back. This is the front. I don't know how they tilt it down just a tad bit. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Just got done finishing up the armhole area. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do some more rows of this body. Start creating a body. I, start, I basically kind of got this pattern by heart, really. What is this? Not a single one. Single one. Skip that. Everybody's super quiet. Is everybody's working on stuff or are you just sitting sitting let me play? I'm sorry. I'm I got quiet myself too. Just trying to figure out what I want to work on. Because I know I want to work on this top and see how much I can get done. Because I think I can really get this done today. Like I said, it's too big. It's too big for me because I crochet too loose. So now I'm trying to compensate and crochet tighter. Like, what am I doing? I don't know where every time I crochet for myself. It's like I think I'm so much bigger than what I am. But I think it's going to be good. I think the color changes are coming in good. I'm just going to check out this pattern. Oops. I'm just like making, I'm just doing some crazy stuff right now, guys. <laughs> ah, and I'm sideways and I'm all kind of ways. Yeah, everybody is super quiet. Does anybody want to have anything they want to talk about? Uh, people are leaving out. I'm going to be heading over to Sandy's in a little bit. Before I can do the gameplay and the um, giveaway. I got to send out my, I have to send out, send out my giveaway stuff too. I'm probably going to send out Monday. I was like, I'm going to send out all my giveaway stuff Monday. I got earrings to send out, and I have um, yarn to send out. So does everybody pretty much agree with keeping the giveaways to be yarn? If y'all Do y'all agree with that? Just keeping them yarn? I'm going to try to change it up a little bit. I'm going to keep yarn, but I'm going to try to add some stuff to it. 
Let me see. I gotta find this pattern. Pattern. Let me see what I got now. Okay. Yeah, because okay, let me see. Let's see what I got I can get like all these different messages in here. Everybody sending me messages. Let me see. Let Okay. Come on. Okay, let me get to my body from my pattern here. Okay, I might as well keep the pattern here so I can read it. Yes, I'm just working on this top. I'm doing a body part now. Um, this is the back seam. I don't know where you have the back seam. I guess it doesn't look too bad. I always kind of get worried about seaming stuff when I have to join it. And I always kind of get worried like, oh, it's going to look weird in the back of my stuff. But it doesn't look bad. And then the um, this, um, this ombre, oh no, it's called Mandela. This Mandela, Mandela is kind of changing up nicely. Because, you know, when you have self-striping self -striping yarn, it'll, like, change into a color really drastically sometimes. But it seems like it kind of just goes, it's kind of flowing a little bit. It looks pretty good. I have another one, another baby crochet. Um, What's this called again? Mandela? I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it again with something else. I might make this top again and that, or I might just make it a different color. Are y'all making anything for y'all to wear in summertime? Or no? Does it have no saying? Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for summer for myself. I really want to make a lot of summer stuff. That's my goal, to make tons of summer things and create all kinds of good stuff. But I need to get me some stuff made up so I can, I want to make some summer tops. I'm going to make some different, um, I'm going to make a pair of shorts, but that's not going to be for me. It's probably going to be to, for my daughter to model. Because every time I make shorts, people always order the shorts because they don't know I can make them. So they're like, oh, you're making some shorts? Okay. So I just try to, um. Okay, let me see a minute. Yeah, I'm just still working on this top, guys. I know nobody's saying anything. Everybody probably just working and hanging out. I appreciate you guys for being here. 
I don't know if anybody has like anybody who does sell stuff. Like, what do y'all do so far as when it comes to like pricing your stuff? Not a lot of people do the um three times the yarn. And they'll charge a little bit for labor. Some people do that. I kind of do, I kind of basically do that, I think. I think I charge like what three times the amount of yarn or something, I think. Depending on what it is though, because like if you're making um earrings or something like that, you don't always have to charge. Well, actually, I know a lady who does that, so never mind. <laughs> I actually know a lady who charges uh, three times the amount for yarn, so never mind. Never mind. Okay, let me see. Why do you do it like that? Yeah, she sells. She sells like her earrings. Yep, it doesn't matter what kind of earrings. She sells hers, and, I, and I'm not knocking her. She's gonna get what she's worth, and I don't mind that at all. I just kind of sometimes I always kind of like lowball myself sometimes because the city I'm in. Do y'all find yourself doing that? But some of y'all live in bigger cities and bigger states. Me living in this small state, guys, I lowball myself. And people are like, oh my gosh. I get people that kind of criticize me for lowballing, and then I get customers who get mad at me for because I'm too high. And I'm like, you know what? I wish I knew exactly how much this stuff um I wish I knew exactly how much this stuff costs when uh, compared to other people's businesses. But I, I still stay firm. I definitely still stay term, firm. And I think one thing that really is helping me with my stuff, like even selling them, is my pictures. Do y'all do a lot of I don't know if y'all take a lot of pictures with y'all crochet or not, but taking pictures is a big, big thing. You know, like, just have picture days. Like, I have days where, like, I'm on Instagram. It's really about pictures. So I have to have days where I'm like, ooh, it's a picture day. So that means I'm going to go and take pictures. I'm going to go and if I can't wear a certain thing, I'm going to have my daughter put it on. I'm going to have my son throw it on. Um, I'm going to make sure it's a sunny day. I, I used to take pictures in the house all the time. And I was like, I don't know. Like, when I used to do Facebook a lot, I still do it. But, like, when I used to be on Facebook all the time, I would take pictures on there. But I would take them in the house. And I started realizing, like, wow, I'm taking pictures in the house, and it's dark, it's dull in here. Um, I'm getting a few likes, you know, because people still like to work. But the minute I started going outside, I started getting better lighting. People were just lighting up and liking everything I was posting. I'm like, really? What's the difference? And it was the pictures. It was the fact that I was taking that time out to really put in some great work with my pictures. People were liking that. They were like, oh... You know, they could see the product better. And then the orders were coming in, too. You know, it wasn't just likes and comments. People were actually ordering things because they could see what they were getting. You know, it's hard. We always, whenever we get something, guys, we always see it. We go from the eyes first. So if it's, a, if it's food or if it's something we want to buy, we're looking at the picture. You know, and depending on what website we get, <laughs> we might not get what the picture shows us. But for the most part, we're looking at the picture. We don't always want to read all those words and all that stuff unless the picture looks good. Now, somebody could say, oh, uh, you know, the, the caption could be something completely different, but that picture is what's going to strike us first. So we have to be take the best picture we can so that way we can get that attention, especially if we're trying to sell some stuff or just trying to advertise what we do. So I think that's really a good thing that I like. I think I learned so far as, um, you know, I learned that. And also, I think one thing is good is if you, um, one good thing is, I know a lot of people taught me so far as like quality of like of yarn and products and stuff that you're using. That's a good thing too. If you're making certain things and you want to charge a certain price, make sure, mm, excuse me, even though you do spend a lot of time on it, make sure you, um, you know, that's when you start kind of purchasing the good yarn. You know, like we were talking about earlier, when you're going to thrift stop, thrift shops and things like that, buying your yarn. Now, if you're going to go to a thrift stop shop and buy your yarn, um, that's a good, that's good because you're going to get a good deal. But I would not recommend selling it to anyone. I would recommend that's where your donations are coming in. Make sure you wash it and things like that, um, and get it taken care of and secured for your customer. But I would say those would be your donations. You know. Thrift store yarn is for those that you just want to donate to, bless somebody with a nice little gift, 
whatever else. Um, but if you want to charge that, that penny that you're desiring, I definitely agree with um, buying something that's a little bit, you know, better quality yarn. And letting them know, hey, this yarn, you don't have to let them know the price that you got it for, but, you know, you let them know that you're using the best or whatever they choose. If they choose an acrylic yarn, then you get the best acrylic that you can get. So that way you can get the price, you know. But sometimes I ask my customers, I ask them, like, what do you, like, what do you prefer? Like, do you prefer this type of yarn? You know, I let, I, let, I let them know already. It's basically like you get shelves of yarn. Like, if you want the bottom shelf, you want the middle, you want the top shelf. What kind of yarn would you prefer? Because, you know, as each, as you pick whatever yarn you choose, it's going to have to deal, it's going to go into how much it's going to cost. So I can give you this beanie right now. And you I can start off with $10 for a beanie. Depending on what yarn I use. If I'm going to start with, a, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to start with that. I'll probably start with 15 because that's the lowest I'll go for a beanie. Unless I'm just really like have a little bit left over. I mean, if I just have some I just, that don't, they haven't moved in years or something, okay, you can get it for 10. But I still sell my beans for 15. But, um, you know, like if you have something like that, if you have, like you start off, like I said, you start off with a beanie. Okay, if I use the cheapest yarn, you're not going to tell them that. But you can just say, hey, it varies in price. So you might, I might sell you this first beanie, hey. My beanies vary depending on what kind of material you like. Um, you can have a beanie for ten dollars if you like. You can have a beanie for fifteen. You can have a beanie for twenty. You can have a beanie for twenty-five. You know, some people depending on. If you want to add this pom pom to it, I have some faux fur that you're more than welcome to add, and that'll be a total of thirty dollars. So some people, I mean, I've seen people. I think the highest beanie I've ever seen was probably forty-eight dollars. I don't know what the highest beanie I've ever seen. Uh, that was the highest beanie I ever saw someone sell theirs for, like forty-eight dollars. Now, there could be more. That could be higher. I'm not sure. But, I mean, I agree with what they're saying. And they were selling. It wasn't like they weren't selling or anything. They were actually selling it. So, um, you, you know, it depends on, where, like I said, where you're at. Um, and then a lot of times, if you're selling things on websites um, and things like that, you have to make sure you're able to pay those websites. Um, you know, your your monthly your monthly um, fees that you have to pay. Or if you got Etsy, you have to pay, pay them. So, it just depends. I don't. I, I don't. I have a website, but I don't have it really. Um, well, I guess people can go on there, but I don't even know. Like, I haven't. Really, I haven't even been on there, so <laughs> I haven't put anything on there yet, guys. I have to put like. I have to put stuff on it, and then I'm thinking about upgrading it until I can get upgrading it into um, a bigger thing eventually. But yeah, I just gotta put some. I gotta put some uh, goodies on there, so I might do that with you guys one day. Just sitting here. I might just begin to start doing that, um, fixing up my website and changing it up a little bit. But yeah, I think that's good. And also, presentations is really good. Presentation is a really, really good way to sell your items. Um, like especially like I said, like if you're doing a craft fair, those are good ways to do it. I used to do craft fairs. Like when I first started doing my craft fairs, y'all, I would do my craft fairs and I didn't have anything to set my craft my crafts on. Like so, I was just a beginner. You know, I didn't really know. This is my first time having crafts. I had all the material now. You could, I had bags and bags of goods, but I didn't have any way to display them. So that was where I was struggling. At. I'm like, wow, I have all these items. I have tons. I mean, I got beanies, hats. I mean, beanies and hats are the same thing. I have beanies. I have different ponchos, slippers. I have tons of stuff, right? Dish scrubbies. I have tons of things to work to make. And so um, I'm like, wow, I have all this different stuff going on. But, um, I have all the stuff I can do and work on, but at the same time, I'm not displaying it good. You know, people are coming over here or displaying it well. People are coming over to my table and I don't have anything organized. I just have my beanies laid down on this table. You know, people have can't really see what's going on here. You know, if people are across the way, no one's going to even make their way over here because... My stuff are, are laid down flat. They don't even know I have anything on the table. They're probably just thinking I'm, you know, just selling Girl Scout cookies. I don't know. They don't know what I'm selling because they can't see. So I end up saying, you know what? Let me figure out some stuff. I got these different helps and tips from a couple of friends who are doing these craft fairs. And they say, you know what? The best thing to do is build up. I'm like, huh? They were like, build up. Like, add you some shelves or something on your tables. If they give you, if you go to these craft fairs, sometimes they'll give you 10 by 10, 8 by 8 space. Some of them will give you one table. Some will give you two tables. So you have to figure out how to work your space. And so I had one that I had to use one table only. So what I did was I had these little shelves I got from like maybe Dollar General or something like that, Family Dollar, depending on where you're at. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I had these tables. I had these small little white shelves. 
Um, and then um, what did I do with them? They came, I think it was like maybe four tier or five tier. So I broke them up into two different tiers. Like, you know, so it was like two tiers on one, two tiers on the other side. And I would put, I bought some mannequins. Um, they were styrofoam guys. I just, I would grab some quick, some quickies. I put the beanies on there and I put them on my, um, I put them on each of my tiers of my shelves. So that was a really big thing that I did. I went to Dollar Tree as well. I bought some of their baskets. Um, and then I started putting stuff on them. And then I had all these different things, like little boxes. Some people are like, oh, grab some boxes, like little mini boxes, wrap them up. You can wrap them in gift papers. You can wrap them in whatever you want, gift wrappers, I should say. You can wrap them in tissue boxes, whatever, you know, you're working on. Or you can just put them under your table and you can put your tablecloth on top of them to give you some height. I started doing these different things and people were like coming over to the table because they were just like, oh, what's over there? Like saw it. Like if you like like make your table as tall as you can, but not to where you can't reach your items and they're falling over because that's been another thing. I used to do craft fairs and all my stuff would fall over because I would get I would get these um, clothing stands, and that's another thing I've done too. Uh, I don't know if you ever did clothing stands at your craft fairs, but I like to do clothing stands where you can like they're kind of like stand you know clothing racks, but I did get some that were not as durable because they were plastic. Um, because they were cheap, you know, and I was trying to do some little quick fixes for my craft fair. So I ended up doing these quick little fixes. They're, um, really cheap little, um, what are they called? Cheap little, um, clothing racks. But if that wind picked up and we were outside doing a craft fair, guys, that, yarn, that all of my stuff would just fall on the ground. And that's not a good look because people were like, oh my gosh, did all this stuff fall? Of course they can wash the items and stuff, but kind of embarrassing so i had times where i've been to craft fairs and i dealt with the same exact thing so i had to realize okay maybe i'm loading um my things up a little too much so i had to kind of figure out what to do then my husband was like well the next time we do one we'll get metal racks um and they're going to be durable they're going to be also more expensive so that means make sure you take care of them because that's what my husband he always does that to me he's like make sure you take care of it so yeah, I had to learn that. I did. And then also, you know what, guys? I don't know what you all like to do. What do y'all pick like when it comes to your craft fairs or like when you're selling stuff? Do y'all pick like certain colors? For me, I only pick, I pick every color. I'm a colorful person. As y'all see, look at me. Mm -hmm. But I pick all the colors. I know some of my friends who um, do like Instagram. And you know, Instagram is all about pictures. Um, and so let me see something. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I don't know what happened, guys, but... None of the comments were coming in, and I know I was not talking to myself. I know I was not talking to myself, guys. Thank y'all for still being here. I don't know who's all here. That's crazy, guys. I just feel like I'm just talking to myself over here, but I just kept going, guys. That's what happens. You got to keep going. I had no comments coming in. Ooh, thank you so much, Monday. You said you like my tester. Thank you. I'm so sorry, guys. I wasn't getting any comments. I was not getting one. Demi Lovato, you're definitely keeping me company. What? Demi Lovato? Come on, Miss Tina. <laughs> Miss Tina, your phone is doing some crazy stuff. So I truly appreciate it. Keep it going, girl. We are not going anywhere. Oh, thank you so much. Hey. Hey, hello. Thank you for coming in. Yes, Senia. Thank you. So love your makeup. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, pictures don't make a difference. You said never lowball yourself because if you can't afford that price, I know that you can't afford that price. I'll go down a price or I figure. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Hey, Kat, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I'm sorry, guys. My comments weren't coming in. Someone was like, just check your stuff and make sure stuff was coming in. I wasn't getting anything. I'm just sitting there just talking to myself. And you said, Dana, sometimes you have to get to know your customers. If your customer, exactly, exactly. Okay, yeah. He's got a six figure job. Yes, exactly. Yep. I mean, Cena said the other day, hey, I don't mind babysitting for the children. If I know they don't have any, if they don't have any cash or anything right now, I babysit for free. But if I know they got some cash, guess what's going to happen? <laughs> mama's going to, mama's going to get paid. Okay. Oh, yeah. This also means that you're, 
Yep, exactly. You said knowing what type of work that your customer does. Exactly. Yep. You know exactly what they have. Hey, Key. Hello. Hey, Lene. Thank you so much, Key. I appreciate the love. You say just like that. This weekend when I was at my family's, I had a customer that was at my knee. That was my niece, but her love. Yeah, exactly. You love a spoiler. Exactly. But she still wanted to buy stuff. You said knowing that she keeps loved one. Yeah, exactly. When your family supports you, that's super amazing. You say, yes, I went and brought a foldable wagon to load my stuff and form my car. Ooh, that's amazing. To and from your car. That's great. I like that idea. So that's okay. I was making comments that aren't. I was making comments and there aren't there. Really? You was making comments that aren't there? Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. My stuff must have froze up, guys. I'm so glad I checked and figured it out. Oh, I like this little filter. Okay. Anyways. Okay, what is everybody else saying? You said, okay. Um, thank y'all for commenting this. I don't know what happened. I think it was just like certain comments were coming in and certain ones were not. Yeah, I think another thing that I love to do, um, but I talk about a lot. Yeah, I know I talk about this a lot. Hey, how are you, Dawn? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Just here, just talking about some different things, chatting a little bit. But I think, like I always tell y'all, my main thing is advertisement. I do a lot of talking about advertisement because it's so big. And like I said before, I don't got my web, I don't have my website out yet, but I do do a lot of advertisement. And I do that because I like to I like to meet. Oh, you said my comment section went out. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. My my youngest son woke up and I don't know if he had a device and made it go crazy or what. See, I like to blame it on the children. Sometimes I do. So yeah, I just finished up there, guys. But yeah, that's one thing I like to do. I like to advertise. Um, and I like to tell everybody. And then sometimes, do y'all have those days where y'all like to tell y'all stuff about your business wherever you go? Like even my mail lady, guys, my mail lady, okay? She was just like, because oh, I just got some happy meal, which is going to be another video. I'm not going to tell you yet, guys. I just want you to see what happens because I mean, I haven't even opened this mail yet. And it's like, it's itching me not to open it. But anyways, my mail lady was like, oh, you sell, you got, what? And it was a little sweet little lady. I've been meaning to make her something, guys. But then when all this stuff happened, I was like, I don't really want to scare her off or anything, but she probably doesn't really care. But. I wanted to make her like a little messy bun beanie. Has anybody ever made anything for your post, your post carrier, your post, postman? Have y'all made anything for your postman? And that's a weird way of saying it, but I want to make like a messy bun because I've seen her wear them. I've seen her wear them, and um, before I saw her wear them, I was gonna make her one, and then I saw her with one. I'm like, oh, because she loves a ponytail, and so I was like, I'm gonna make her one. So I'm gonna make her one this winter just to make her one. You said making another sweater or a shirt this time? Oh, I kind of I put it down because I didn't. I kind of got bored with it a little bit. <laughs> and I want to work on this test a little bit. This is a test pattern, and it's coming out soon. It's due on the 20th, so I'm going to be working on getting this done um, so that way I can have it done. Okay, so I'm going to put on the body. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so I can tell you who is very good at setting up a table or craft here. Oh, really? I know she is. I know DOI is. I know she is. She's doing great with the craft table. Oh, yeah. I know. I remember I saw you guys. Y'all had your table set up. And so I was like, what? Y'all took a picture together, Miss Tina? I loved it. Let me see. Where I got it now? Two here. Okay. Yeah, I saw that, Miss Tina. I was like, Miss Tina I did a um, craft fair and DOI and Miss Tina were both there. So, Miss Tina, did y'all know y'all were going to be there? I mean, did y'all know each other when y'all did this craft fair? How did that work? Have anybody ever did a craft fair with someone? Like, y'all shared a table? Um, or even if y'all didn't share a table, y'all just still went and did it. Y'all had your own tables or whatever, but y'all like was like, ooh, you know, you went there with someone that you knew. I never really, I was going to do, it was one year, uh, one of my friends, oh, we said lost in I'm back. oh, yeah, I think we all lost in I think I did, too. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, guys. I'm so glad we're back, though. Um, but, yeah. So, I don't know if anybody's ever did a craft fair with anybody before. 
Um, but I've been wanting to do, um, I've been kind of wanting to do something with people. I think it'll be fun. I was supposed to be doing one years ago with one of my friends and I didn't get a chance to do it. She ended up not doing it any like she was gonna be the one that was driving because it was out of town and she couldn't do it anymore. So I was like, oh, so I didn't get to do that one. But I really would love to do a craft fair, like because she wasn't selling crochet though, so that made it really good. Um, you know, so it wasn't like, oh, we're competing, you know. She's she was selling so sewing sewing. She was making her own clothes, hand sewing clothing. And so I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, I think it was me. I don't know who it was. Everybody was gone. Like, I don't know what happened. Now everybody's back again. I was like, what happened? I know I'm getting boring, but come on, guys. I need you. <laughs> but, yeah, he's like, Tina and I had, oh, y'all did it together. See, I love that. I was wondering how, so, I mean, did y'all just plan it? I mean, I okay, guess so you probably planned it. But were y'all both in the same city at the time, probably, huh? So it made it easy, even though your city is big, but still. <laughs> It's not like it's a small city. Like, my city is small. Like, I guess small, but it's, I still see someone new every day. That's So I guess it's still not that small. That's what people say all the time. They're like, your city's small. There's nothing to do there. I'm like, don't talk about my city. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody just comes here for Notre Dame. So it's like, I guess I see a lot of people because of that. If it wasn't for Notre Dame, probably would meet a lot of visiting going on. But yeah. I, just, I knew it was going to happen. I was trying not to let this yarn get tangled, and it still got tangled anyways. Okay. So I guess I'll be hanging out for like a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to go over to Sandy's. I don't know if anybody's going to hang out with me over to Sandy's for an hour while she does her show, and then when she's done, we'll come back over here. I wanted to do a Mother's Day extravaganza, as Monda called it, Mother's Day extravaganza. And like I said before, it's not going to be just for mothers. For those who are not mothers, it's perfectly fine. Don't feel like you're getting left out. I promise you're not. Okay. Yep. Just lost my hook. So we're just going to chat and have some fun. Play some games and laughter. This is kind of like a little preview a little bit. A little, pre, little prequel. Because Sandy is always showing love to me. And I want to go hang out with her. I promised her I was coming over there. So I want to be. I want to be a woman of my word. So yeah, I'm gonna be going over to Sandy's in about a few minutes. So her name is Left is Right Crochet with Sandy. For anybody who wants to go over there, um, if you want to come back, I will be back at 9 p.m. guys. So um, or like a little bit after 9 p.m., probably like 9:05 p.m. Eastern time. So for those Central, it'll be eight your time, and people that are Mountain, it'll be seven your time. People for California, it'll be or PST. It'll be six your time. Okay. So, all right. All right, guys. So, her name is Left is Right Crochet with Sandy. And she's a nice little, sweet little lady. Um, and she is so sweet. Hello. How are you? So, yes, I'm going to be heading over there now. For those who want to come with me, you can. I will be back in an hour. And we're going to do the games and the prizes um, then. So, meet me back here if you guys want to hang out again. For those who are little night, night owls, um, please come back in about an hour. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out.